I was in denial. I thought Cleo had more time. You never want to let her go. But there was really no choice. We've been married for 10 years. Oh, that's her favorite. I know. Does it smell like her stuff? Yeah. Had we had met 20 years earlier? Without question. We would have had children. We would have had children. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know how I'm going to be. I was emotional enough when she passed away. I don't ever want to see that again. Are you OK? Yep. I buried my first two dogs here. And actually, I bought the plot for Cleo the day I got her. So it just never seemed that unusual that you would bury your pet. Today's not cheap, but it would have been a lot more if I didn't already have the plot. You know, she's going to be there forever. And I'll have a place to just visit her. So if I had the money, I'd build a friggin' monument to the dog. <laughs> I would. It would be like 30 stories high, and everybody could come look at it. But I don't. I'm going to miss Cleo until the day I die and just hope that we're all together again. I just didn't feel real for now. She's not suffering anymore. You have to remember that. Okay? Dear God, we thank you for sending us Cleo and for allowing her to be with us for a time. And accept our mourning as a form of praise for this love that has enriched our lives. Society and religion have many liturgies and rituals to help us grieve the human deaths that we experience. But we have few rituals to help us grieve the loss of our beloved pets. But the loss of a pet can be as emotional and distressing as the loss of any human being in our lives. Today we come here to celebrate the life of Cleo and to say goodbye. Would you like to throw the first shot for me? Being able to memorialize her in this way helps there be an end. You know, we're going to get back on our feet. Money is always going to happen eventually, and honoring them is the least we can do. People are afraid to love because they're afraid to get hurt. Is it worth the pain? Absolutely.